Hey there, how is it going? Thank you so much for taking out this video. This is Ashton Text Profit. If you are a content creator, blogger, business owner, or a marketer, or an agency, and if you find yourself working on social media for the large part, distributing your own content, interacting with others, sharing and distributing your content on a scheduled basis, if you would like to make sure that you're not spending way too much time on a daily basis on any of the social media networks you might then you might want to use a social media post planner as it's called now you might already be aware of a few social media post planners or social media planners or content planners you might be already familiar with tools like Hootsuite and Buffer most people don't know this but SEMrush which happens to be a Swiss army knife of tools used for search engine marketing and organic marketing and content marketing content strategy SEO Google ads and so on and so forth also has a social media toolkit of which a social media post planner is a part of now to get access to that as you can see on the screen you're seeing my semrush account you will be able to see that it's on the screen right now and on the left side panel you have the entire list of tools and features available with semrush but one of the main ones that i want to talk about for the purposes of this video is inside this tab called social media and here is where you will notice a social media poster and you will notice a familiar interface which looks much like a calendar drill down based on the profile that you would like to see this is for all profiles and on the right here you will see a post view and you can plan and manage as such so all of my post and content is updated for a few days now and this is where you get to and check out exactly what's happening to post a new post all you need to do is just click on new post here and add your post as to whatever it, that might be and then add a link that goes something like this it's just for uh, example that i'm showing you also have the option of shortening your link or not shortening it as the case may be and you also have an image that will drop down which is extracted from the link that you might have added there and you can choose to add this particular image if you'd like to go for it or you can delete that and upload your own image from any of your other images on your desktop or laptop for example and you can also choose to add tracking parameters for your links so that you know which particular profile is sending you traffic and so on and so forth this happens to be a marketer's favorite so you could do all of these and you can also add emojis that go with this particular little icon here and you could use emojis easily instead of having to go and search for emojis having said that you can also customize this particular post for each of those networks that you have access to for example on linkedin i might want to say something like Adirate and fetch profits and it will show up my actual linkedin page there whereas on twitter it will try and show me what my twitter profile looks like there and it will automatically show me that and i can add it here so you don't go wrong when tagging people or brands now you also have the option of posting it right away or scheduling it or rescheduling it again and again on a regular basis go out at particular days on a daily basis maybe or on a weekly basis you can also save posts as draft if you're working with a team, you can have them update all of the content here in the SEMrush social post planner and you can also approve those posts if, you, if it requires approval or if there's a collaborative effort going on. Now once you're done posting and after you post, you also have other features right here that go something like this. Now on the top left corner, there's a small navigation menu which shows you the calendar which is the default view. You also have access to what is called as post tab which kind of shows you all of the posts that you already posted and it shows you analytics at, at a quick glance. Now, if you want to go further ahead and check out the analytics for any particular post across networks, you can do that as well. For example, I'm going to drop down and choose my Twitter here. And once I choose Twitter, I can probably take something like this and see what's happening with my particular post. What is the engagement like? How many likes and retweets and replies I must have got? You also have a little tab on the left where it says approved, not approved when you work with the team. If you have a team member or a virtual assistant or a social media manager or a marketer upload posts for you using SEMrush, you can approve or not approve them. Any of the non-approved posts will show up on this tab. You also will be able to see anything scheduled for the future, any draft posts that you might have and any errors that you might want to work on for that particular social media network. Now, if you don't want to look at one particular social media network, and all profiles instead this is how it shows up you could see that i've had issues posting this on facebook for example i can try again if i want to try again like so or i can work on what exactly the issue is or maybe reconnect my social media account that has this particular problem and try and work on that as well 
I also have another tab called content ideas. This kind of saves you time from having to search for content that you could share on your social media networks. You could add RSS feeds right here and make it all appear right here so you can just go ahead and schedule them. For example, I could just add an RSS feed here and type in desktopoffice.com and my RSS feed will show up and I could just click that and now you'll notice that I have all of my posts coming up right here which makes it really easy and a no-brainer to schedule my posts as and when I need to instead of having to go look for separate links and titles and bring them all together and put them inside my post planner. Get a copy of it at textprofit.com forward slash SEMrush. Start with a free trial or maybe try and get yourself a free account or even a paid account and get started with it. Social Media Planner comes built in with your SEMrush account so you don't have to actually pay for a third party tool such as Buffer or Hootsuite. I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. This is Ash from Fitch Profits signing up.